JYP, a behemoth in the Korean music world, part of what is known as the Big Three. Joined with YG Entertainment and SM, they are the three biggest entertainment companies in Korea. And although they were already huge in 2015, a certain girl group by the name of TWICE helped them push their limits to the next level. This girl group has been dubbed the Girl Group of Asia, selling nearly 8 million lifetime sales. Because of their success, JYP has seen a 500% increase in their stock since 2015. Enter Big Hit, another huge entertainment company which pulled $166 million in the first half of 2019. Their worldwide famous boy group, BTS, had the most successful year ever for a K-pop group, selling around 4 million sales last year. However, despite all this amazing success both companies had been having, there is one controversy that has been plaguing both companies and rotting from the inside out. It all started back in February 24th, 2017, on an episode of Music Bank. BTS and TWICE were promoting together their new songs. During BTS's portion of the segment, BTS performed a snippet of their song, in which TWICE joins along, in particularly Jonghyun. Jimin, as many people have perceived, appears to laugh and joke. As TWICE gives a little sample of their song, Jimin once again appears to laugh and joke. Many angry and sensitive netizens have perceived this as laughing and mocking at Jonghyun. Others said he could have been laughing at a joke completely unrelated to twice at all. This is not a one-time occurrence. This happens multiple, multiple times over the course of the last three years. It happened once again during a music course segment. BTS appeared on TV. Immediately, Jonghyun appears to refuse acknowledging the TV at all. The room went silent. <laughs> and you could hear a pin drop. When Jimin's face was plastered on the silver screen, she made it even stronger just to show how much she hated looking at the TV. In a TWICE V-Live, TWICE, as they usually do, were enjoying the time they spent well with their fans. In one specific segment, TWICE appears to be doing a cover of sorts of various Korean pop music tracks. They dance to many such songs such as Bang Bang Bang. But as BTS's 2015 hit, Dope, came into play, Jonghyun disappeared, nowhere to be seen without a trace. With the other TWICE members even jesting Jonghyun's rather abrupt vanishing act, even Taehyun, who is a skilled tracker in the art of finding things such as cameras, had difficulty finding Miss Yu. But the second the BTS track reached the end of its duration, Jonghyun immediately returned to the scene. Now, this has been an issue that has made its waves around the K-pop landscape since 2017, and as Google Trends suggests, it has been an ever-increasing subject of interest among netizens. Interest of the subject hit its peak at November 6, 2018. What exactly happened on November 6, 2018? If we look back, November 6, 2018 was the 2018 Genie Music Awards to which both BTS and TWICE were participants. During a performance of TWICE's Yes or Yes, we see V copying the choreography of the 2018 hit. As he watched the song, he displays his newfound moves to none other than Jimin. Jimin appears to be completely unamused, and much to V's satisfaction, he returns with a teasing, jesting smile. All right, so here we see the Bulletproof Boy Scouts, Passed by the nine member JYP group, Jimin immediately bows to Twice and Jonghyun. Jonghyun, who returns with nothing but an ice cold glare, once again leaving Jimin boundless. As BTS move beyond the scene, Jonghyun immediately turns to her confidant, Nayeon, to discuss what exactly. And even Ga Jiho lowers herself to the presence of mortals to partake of the tea. What could be so important? What are they discussing? What exactly happened between Jonghyun and Jimin? Once's army and Korean netizens have made their speculations about the events that have transpired. It is a conflict 
that has been plaguing the Korean pop community for years. Why did this happen? The most widely accepted theory is that the two used to date and now they broke up and hate each other. Another common theory is that they are actually both dating right now in secret and the beef is all a distraction, an illusion, a smokescreen. <laughs> I don't think anything's going on. I think they're all over exaggerating. Honestly, this is so stupid. I don't even know why people care about this anymore. It happened like three years ago. What? No, that's that's old news. Have you heard about Jimin and Jungkook? No, it's Jimin and Tete. No, 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 no. Have you heard about Jimin and Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> yeah. It's Jimmy and Jimmy. <laughs> Attention, all Korea boos, onces, and army. Chung Young and Jimin are 100% dating. There's no denying it. These are the facts. Ah, yes, the Chung Young and Jimin beef, the biggest mystery in K pop. They could simply just be old friends. Or are they? I have the exact reason why they would be acting like this to each other. First, let's take a look at the word beef. Now, beef is a continuous issue between two people, but what does beef actually mean? Be examining every footage, and that is what I did. I watched and rewatched every Jung Yeon Jimin interaction caught on camera, linked the history of the two, went to their old schools and interviewed the teachers, even went to as far as checking to see if they're wearing the same clothing because as we know, that is a sure sign that they were dating. And what I found and what I believe is the reason behind all this grade A beef is... They, they probably had a thing. They probably had a thing. Come on. They probably had a thing. Jung Yun once said her ideal type is someone who she can be open with, a friend, and she wouldn't mind falling in love with her best friend. I mean, this interaction doesn't happen between strangers. Let's be real. And yes, I did look like YG on purpose. <laughs> Jimin. Jong Young, February 2017 Music Bank, Genie Music Awards 2018. What was the connection? What was missing? For weeks, I looked into the issue for some clue, some person that could give me some insight into this pandemonium. All my research and investigation led to one person. If you look at any of TWICE's videos or photos, you'll notice one person of particular interest who always seems to stay close to TWICE. Here she is watching over TWICE, and here she is taking care of TWICE's needs. So obviously, she's very close to TWICE. But who is this mystery character? And what does she know? After more hours of digging and research, I came to find that she is none other than Kim Nayeon. The manager? of TWICE, aka Sadness Manager. She's known for two things, being the greatest K-pop manager of all time, and her resemblance to Inside Out's Sadness. <laughs> One of the closest confidants of Miss Yoo jung uh, Here she was, the key that I've been looking for. I took a deep breath as I could finally begin to see the end of the tunnel of this whole bonanza. This is it. I knew what I had to do. Here I was in front of the grandest building in all of Seoul, the Great Sapphire, the JYP headquarters. I came before the grand blue building of immaculate design. Inside that magnificent structure were the answers to my quest. Behind those doors were the entrance to my enlightenment. <sighs> my heart raced faster than my body could keep up. I felt the blood rush to my head and began to feel lightheaded. Was I really just going to walk in? What would I say? My nerves were at their limits. I took a deep breath and I decided to take that leap of faith.
아, 저기 혹시 김나연 뭐써 있을까요? 김 누구요? 아, 김나연. 김나 아, 매니저요. 아, 아, 네, 네. 아, 그분 이제 여기서 일안 하세요. 아, 진짜? 네. 아. 아, 아, 아 네, 네, 네. 아, 아 네. 감사합니다. 아, 네. 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 아, 감사합니다. 네. I can't believe it. I screwed up. I'm a failure. A fraud. A pretender. Who am I kidding? I'm not a detective. I'm just a nerd who's watched too much CSI and Detective Conan. As I walked out the JYP building, I was greeted by the cold Korean air and the Seoul traffic. Kim Nayeon left twice back in 2018. What a catastrophic oversight. My whole life was now ruined. What, what do I do? My whole journey had came to a dead end and I can do nothing but wallow in my failure. As I walked through the wet soul streets and I watched the taillights of the cars drive by, I contemplated my next plan of action. My sadness sunk in as the rumbling of the subway took its course, but like that doo-doo-doo-doo, -doo -doo -doo, it hit me. Kim Nayeon stated in a V-Live, please be healthy, please support twice, to which Nayeon asks, are you crying? Maybe she knew, maybe she knew that she was leaving and it was gonna be a hard thing, she wanted us, the fans, to continue to support twice while she would be gone. It was so obvious now. She was the most powerful woman in the world. She knew all of Twice's secrets. And as the great Tom Holland once stated, a great power comes with a great responsibility. This burden was too heavy to handle alone. She knew the dangers of holding too much power and too much information. So she left twice. If the great and amazing Kim Nayeon couldn't handle the greatest twice secret of all time, how could I? The world will never know what happened that day on February 24th, 2017. And maybe we're not supposed to, for I fear that our mortal minds could never handle the truth. As I basked in a new sense of enlightenment, I knew that this is what I came here looking for. I found hope. I found peace. I found joy. And now, I finally rest and watch the sun set on a grateful universe. And as the sun retired in the Korean skies, so did my journey. Thank you, Miss Kim, for showing me, for showing all of us, the truth. So, remember to stream, so what? And subscribe to The Asian Theory. Stan Luna.